right, so one of these people in my comment section asked me to make a tutorial on how to set up, you know, the network online function of uh, Battle of Z, and this this will just be a Battle of Z tutorial. You're also going to get DLC and uh, a complete save of the game. It's a lot of steps, but it's doable in maybe an hour or so, depending on how strong your computer is. Once you're done, you can set up Netplay and play with your friends or whatever. So, let's start by the first one simply downloading our PCS3 and setting that up simply. The first thing you're going to do is download our PCS3 from its official website. I'll put these links in the description so you can use all of them. And once you've done that, you're going to use this or put it in a folder you want and you're going to unzip it using 7-zip. I hope I don't need to also do a tutorial for 7-zip, but there you go. All right. Once you've done this, you should just be able to open the application. I won't do either of these because I already have another one that I'm using. All right. From here, what you're going to do, you should probably set this up in advance, but before you do that, you're going to download this from Sony's official website. Again, link will be in the description. Once you download the update file, you're going to go to File, Install Firmware, and if you have it from Sony, you just install it. It's doing this. It's done. So from here, you're going to install the base game, right? Install packages. Z game only, and you're gonna install both of these at the same time. Okay. Once you're done, the game should load like this. If it doesn't load, either your computer's CPU isn't strong enough, or you need more RAM, which it's probably both, honestly. But don't forget to configure your pads. I just did. I had to do it again. Sounds not on because I turned it off. It's way too loud of a game. But yes, create a new save data right here. That's all you need to do. All right. You don't need to do anything else right now. Actually combine saves. But the save that you get, you're going to combine it with your original save from RPCS3. So what you're going to do is unzip the unzip the folder. Go here. And you're going to copy this. Jeez. Sorry, I'm going to copy this. Then go into your RPCS3 folder. Save data. And here you're going to combine everything. When you get onto the Brute Force website, what you're going to need to do is download this right here. Windows will tell you that it's a virus. You're going to keep the file. And sometimes uh, you need to go open Windows Defender and allow it through the firewall. And after you do that, you're also going to download this zip right here which is a folder if you don't have this brute force will not work and i will install brute force and do all the things necessary for it right now once you have those two downloaded i put the i put the needed file here so it's easy to find it's right here once you have those two downloaded you're going to install brute force and i'll do this again so Sorry, it's just okay. And you're gonna wait for it to do its job. Oh, come on! Don't even need to do that, right? Don't run it. Just gonna press finish. I'm gonna take this needed file right here. Now, usually, I'll put the path where 
um, brute force usually is in your C drive. That's where you're going to default to if you want to do it. But what are you going to do? Uh, I'll put the folder, I'll put the file path there. But you're just going to paste this extra folder in here, and now you're going to open brute force. You're going to close this. It's no. Right. What you're going to do is copy the file path that the save folder for the game is in, which is right here. And you're going to get this game data. You're going to right click and and press decrypt PFD. This <laughs> it's done in basically a second. And you're going to close brute force. Once you've done that, you're going to open RPCS3 to see if it worked. So, we're just going to open the game, and then we're going to get into the DLC. When you open the game, it should look like this. You're not going to sign in yet. We're going to get into that later. Proceeding offline, yes. Everything here should be unlocked. You know, this is what it should look like. When you open up. Sorry, I forgot. You got to click select a mission first. And you click and you select your characters. You should have every character unlocked. And if I do this. All of your all the cards should be unlocked. So now we're gonna install the DLC and we are going to do online. We're gonna go to install packages. Uh go to the DLC and install the DLC. And if you wanted to play the game with the DLC, you know, you could save you're done but this is also network network it's actually very simple first since you won't forget it you're going to right click the game and create a custom config from default settings right so network connect the network status and psn status to rpcn not simulated click apply say custom config now it comes to the more easier part, configuration RPCN, and you go to make an account. You're going to create an account. So I'm going to make a nonsensical name. Uh, midnight. Alt. There you go. Password. Just very simple here. All numbers. Email address. I'm going to have to pause here. But just put your email address. It'll send you a code. After you give them your email, you're going to need a token. And the token I got was, ooh, that's a lot. You know what? Let's do it the hard way. I'm going to type it. Okay, let's see if it's correct. All right, if it's, <laughs> I'm going to test the account. My account's valid and I'm good, right? So, what you done with this? I'm going to open the game again. See this right here? It's gonna it's gonna open up this uh, wow and the game is oh man you guys can hear that but I did give me a second okay so once you're in the game you'll be able to go to co-op or battle let's just try battle mode 
and you'll be able to make a custom match, a quick match. I'm going to see if I can, <laughs> my computer is strong enough to handle two of these at the same time. Give me a second. The emulator gives me an error when I try to, so no, it doesn't work. But quick match. Wow. Well, I can make a room. That's pretty much it. If there's any questions you want, uh, put them in the comment section. Also, if you want me to show you how to <laughs> do update and use uh, the mod for this game it's a gun of game that it's uh, the name is very long but if you want it put it in the description and i'll do an install or how to install on that because there's literally none on the internet at least on youtube so uh thank you for watching